My dear respected brothers and sisters, today's khutbah about ahmiyatul waqt, importance of the time. Allah Rabbuna Jalla wa'ala revealed a full surah in the Holy Quran. The surah's name is Suratul Asr. Allah Azza wa Jal said, Wal Asr. By time. Inna al insana la fi khusr. Surely man is in loss. Illa al ladina amanu wa amilu salihat. Except those who believe and do good deeds. Wa tawasaw bil haq. And enjoin on each other truth. Wa tawasaw bil sabr. And enjoin on each other patience. Respected brothers and sisters, Rabbuna Jalla wa'ala given the oath, he swear in the Holy Quran in the different places. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the thing to do any suya, does mean these things is most important in the sight of human beings. One answer. It's swear by the time. Time is better than the gold in the side of human beings. The time is a set. Respected brothers, time is the ni'amah of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah has given a certain time as a hayat in this world. 
Some people are living in this world 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, 80 years, 19, even 100. This is the ni'amah. On the day of judgment, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, every single human being will stand before Allah one to one. لا تزول قدما عبد يوم القيامة. The feet of the slave of Allah will not move on the day of judgment until he is asked five questions. حتى يسأل عن عمره فيما أفناه. About his life and what he did with it. Allah will ask you, I have given you so many years in this world. Tell me, what did you do in the world? An ilmihi fi ma fa'ala fihi About his knowledge and what he did with it. Wa an malihi min ayna ktasabahu wa fi ma anfaqahu About his wealth and how he earned it and where he spent it on. How did you earn the money and how did you spend it? Allah is going to ask you on the day of judgment, وَعَنْ جِسْمِهِ فِيمَا أَبْلَاهُ And his body, and for what did he wear it out? وَقَدْ أَخْرَجَ الْبُخَارِيُّ مِنْ حَدِيثِ عَبْدِ اللَّهِ بْنِ مَسْعُودٍ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَلَى عَنُهُ قَالَ الرَّسُولُ نِعْمَتَانَ مَغْبُونٌ فِيهِمَا كَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ أَصِحَّةُ وَالْفَرَاهُ Our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the majority of mankind, does not appreciate two blessings of Allah. One is health and other is the free time. When the men have the free time, they waste it. Today is the big question. Are we wasting the time? Are we using the time? Are we investing the time? Maximum people of the world they are wasting the time. The report showed children in the United Kingdom spend five hours in a day on Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, video games, watching TVs and movies. Every single day of average five hours. Is it investing the time or wasting the time? We have to ask ourselves, Am I allowed to waste my time? Time is better than the gold. The gold, you are not true to the dustbin. Time is better than the money. You are not agreed to throw the money to the bin. Why you are wasting the time? Why you are throwing, throwing the time? Why you are killing the time with your social media? Allah Azza wa Jal will ask you on the day of judgment, why did you kill the time? Why did you waste the time? Why did you not invest the time with all? Allah is going to ask you. Remember, my dear respected brothers, mm -hmm. not only teenage, the adults are spending average every single day, four to five hours, by searching Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, mm -hmm. without any benefit. Sometimes, obviously, there is a benefit, but maximum time wasting with the social media. Brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, you are using the time. Every single day, brothers are spending 9 to 5, 8 to 9 hours for, for your job. You are spending your time for the sake of your employer, every single day, 5 to 7, 8 hours. The businessmen are spending the time for the sake of your business. The children are spending the time, using your time to do the study, alhamdulillah. It is the investment for the children. If I ask you, my dear respected brothers and sisters and youngsters, you are spending with social media for your job every single day, 5, 10, 8 hours. But for 5 time prayers, how many hours do you need to spend for the 5 time prayers? Even if you spend two to three hours, you can come to the mosque, go to home five times, maximum two to three hours. But brothers and sisters, they are not spending only three hours for the sake of your creator. 
You are spending time for sake of employer, but you are not agreed to spend that time for, for sake of your creator. I know, end of the week, the employees are having 500 pounds, 600 pounds for you, from your employer. But do you think your creator is not giving you anything? Allah Azza wa Jal said in the Holy Quran, Alam naja'alil awda mihada, have we not made the earth a bedding, wal jibala awtada, and the mountains as a page, wa khalaqnakum azwaja, and we have created you in, uh, in pairs, wa ja'alna naumakum subata, and made your sleep for rest, wa ja'alna layla libasa, and made the night as a covering, wa ja'alna nahara ma'asha, and the day as a means of earning, wa banayna fawqakum sab'an shidada, and have we not made seven powerful skies above you, wa ja'alna sirajan muhaja, and made a bright uh, lantern, وَأَنزَلْنَا مِنَ الْمُعْصِرَاتِ مَا أَنْ سَجَّجَ And do we not spend down from the clouds water in abundance? Who is giving you the rain, the water? Who is giving you the light? Who created the sun? Who created the moon? Who is giving you the oxygen? Who is giving you everything providing without any bill, without any payment, your creator but you are not spending two, three hours for the sake of your Creator. On the day of judgment, you should stand before your Creator without saying the answer, you should not move. Respected brothers and sisters, yesterday I went to the school with my daughter to get the GCSE result. I have seen some Children are so happy, they are hugging each other. When they get the result from their teacher, they've done very well. Some of them are so happy. I have seen some students are crying because they did not achieve the good results. On the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you a test result. The life is a test. The life is a test. Rizal will be passed on the day of judgment. Allah Azza wa Jal said, فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِ As for those given their records in their right hands. فَيَقُولُ هَاءُ مُقْرَأُ كِتَابِيَهُ They will cry happy. Here everyone read my records. They will show. See, this is my result sheet. Look at this. They will show on the day of judgment. I have seen in the school, the children are showing the result to their friends, their parents happy. On the day of judgment, your result will be given. On your right hands, if you do best result in this world. I surely knew I would face my recruitment. They will be in a life of bliss. And as for those given their records in their left hand, they will cry bitterly. I wish I had not been given my record. Allah. Respected brothers, wasting the time, using the time, investing the time. If you, the ch you are children, you are the students, if you invest your time for your study, you will be benefited. If you spend your time for the sake of Allah, you will be benefited in this dunya and after. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to use our time appropriately, wisely. May Allah guide us not to waste our time, not to kill our time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a wonderful life, the hayatan tayyiba in this dunya and akhirah. Barakallahu lana wa lakum fil Qur'an azim wa nafa'na iyyahu bil ayat wa dhikr al-hakim innahu ta'ala jawadun kareemun malikum baru ba'ufur. Amen. الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأهل بيته أجمعين 
أما بعد فقد قال الله جل وعلا في كلامه المجيد وفرقانه الحميد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت وباركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم أيد الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر إخواننا المسلمين في كل مكان يا رب العالمين اللهم ارحمنا فإنك خير الرحيمين اللهم اغفر لنا فإنك أنت الغفور الرحيم اللهم أصلح شبابنا المسلمين اللهم أصلح نساءنا المسلمين يا رب العالمين ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما وجعلنا للمتقين إماما ربنا تقبل صلاتنا وسلامنا وصيامنا وقيامنا وقعودنا كما تقبلت من عبادك الصالحين اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدي رب رحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا رب رحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا اللهم ارزقنا فإنك خير الرازقين اللهم اشفعنا فإنك خير الشافعين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم يا أيها الإخوان اتقوا الله كتقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون عباد الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعيدكم لعلكم تذكرون وذكروا الله العظيم الجليل يذكركم وادعوه يستجب لكم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المسلمين والحمد لله رب العالمين